Hi everyone, welcome to Art Sonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Jane Tenbrook, an art teacher from Michigan. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Art Sonia gallery. Hello again. Are you scared of monsters? Me either. Well, maybe in the dark. Today we're gonna make a monster that is not scary at all. And he is based on two of my favorite things. One, this book, Go Away, Big Green Monster, was written by Ed Emberly. If you haven't seen this, you need to get to your library and check it out. It is so fun and it'll help you handle some of those fears you might have, even if they're not monsters. I love Ed Emberly's art and it inspired me to create Symmetry Squish Monsters. That's right, symmetry and squish. Now symmetry is that line that divides a shape where it's equal on both sides. And we're gonna use that to make a squish painting to make a monster that looks like this. What do you think? Pretty cool, eh? Not scared of that one at all. Now, to do our symmetry squish monsters, all you're gonna need are three colors of paint. Green, little blue, little purple. You can use tubes of paint, you can use um, jars of paint like I have, any old kind of paint you have. You're going to need a glue stick or liquid glue and a pair of scissors. You're going to need some scraps of paper. Now I'm gonna use yellow and black, red and turquoise in the book, he calls it bluish greenish, and also some white for those sharp pointy teeth. I'm also going to use a big piece of white paper that I'm gonna fold in half like a book. Now, if you don't have a big piece of white paper, you could also use an old file folder and they work just as well. I'll give you a minute while you gather your supplies and we'll get started. All right, now to make the monster's face, hair, and ears, we are going to use squish painting. All you need to do is take a big piece of white paper or an old file folder works nicely too, and fold it in half like a book or a card. Give it a good crease and then unfold it. Now, I'm gonna be working on one half figure it's like page one of the book and we're not gonna put any paint here. I'm gonna start with some green and I'm gonna squidge a little bit of that out on the paper. Ooh, that'll be good. And then I know that my big green monster has scraggly purple hair. So I'm gonna put a little purple there and next, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue. Well, I'm gonna try and put a little bit of blue. You know, if your paint is like my paint and won't come out, sometimes it's nice to have a handy dandy popsicle stick. And then you can kind of blob it out on the paper, right about where the monster's ears would be. Now, I've never seen a monster in real life, have you? So we don't know exactly what a monster would look like if we did see one. So if yours comes out different than mine or different than the book, don't worry about it. It'll still be a scary monster. Now I'm just spreading out this purple so he'll have some squiggly purple hair. Set this off to the side and get ready for the squish. That's right, we're gonna fold our paper up and we're gonna give it a back rub. Nice little massage, and you can check it whenever you want. So I'm gonna open it up and see what's happening in there. Whoa, that's cool. Now I want the ears to connect to his head and his head to connect together. So I'm gonna close it back up and I'm gonna squish it around down here and I'm gonna squish around here where the ears were and check it again. Oh yeah. Maybe a little more blue. Why don't we put some blue right here? 
and squish it again and see what happens. Open it up one last time. And we have a scary big green monster. And it's made with symmetry. There's a line down the middle and both halves are exactly the same. That's what's awesome about squish painting. Now, while we're waiting for our big green monster's head to dry, we're going to make his face pieces. That's why we needed all of these scraps of colored paper. Now, if you don't have these scraps of colored paper, that's okay. You can always use different colors of paper or different shapes, or you can color your own. That's right. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out his big yellow eyes. I'm gonna fold my yellow paper in half. It's all about symmetry, isn't it? And then I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut out a circle. Now, if you aren't as good as me at cutting out a circle, it takes a lot of practice, you can draw a circle. You could even trace something in a circle on your yellow paper and then cut it out. We'll put these over here and put this in our good scraps bin. Now, I know the big green monster has a long bluish greenish nose, so I'm going to cut out an oval shape. I always think of it kind of like a long bluish greenish pickle. <laughs> There's that. That's more good scrap for later. And then we've got to cut out his mouth. Now his mouth can be any shape you want. It can be smiling, it could be frowning. I like to make kind of a peanut shaped mouth or maybe an eight without the two holes cut in it. Put our scraps over there, there's a mouth. Last two things to cut. Two tiny circles to go inside the eyes. Boom, whoa, now he's looking at us. And his pointy white teeth. I'm gonna cut a strip of my white paper and then cut diagonal lines. Watch this, one sharp tooth, two sharp teeth, three sharp teeth, and I think I'm gonna stay with four sharp teeth. You can make more if you like. You can make less if you like. You don't even have to make those teeth sharp. So there you can see what our big green monster is going to look like. Oh, there you go. Now we just gotta wait for our paint to dry and put it all together. So for this next step, we're going to use our glue stick and we're going to put glue on the back of the pieces of the face and stick them down on our big green monster. Now, as you can see, mine's not quite dry yet, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. If you've got the time, you can let yours dry. Usually takes about a day for this thick squish painting paint to dry. Here we go. Put some glue on the back of one eye. <laughs> and I'll put some glue on the back of another eye. Stick that down. Let's go with his nose. And you know what? I think it's time to speed things up a little bit. And there you have it, our big green monster. Who would want him to go away? He is so cool, and I am really proud of my artwork. I hope you are too. Rawr! Just kidding. Did you have fun making our symmetry squish monster? You know, you can make symmetry squish butterflies and flowers, all kinds of different things. You should use this technique more often. I know I do. I hope you enjoyed creating our monsters today. Get yourself to the library and check out Go Away Big Green Monster and keep on being creative.